So we have a send us your stuff program and we altered it today to bring us your stuff. Hi, I'm Derek. I brought my stuff. Uh, this stuff was my daily driver uh, since I was a poor college student. And uh, after seven years, we're gonna see how it fares. So let's break it. Our first test is a uh, shoulder length sling. I don't know, what's the condition of this, would you say? Uh, I don't know, I'd say I'd still trust my life to it. Yeah, it looks trustworthy, but Dyneema can vary a lot with age. So yeah. there's only one way to find out. <laughs> what's it rated for? 22. 22. Only 10% uh, down? Yeah. Well. That's what it looks like. That's 20% lower. Still, uh, wood whip on it. <laughs> I mean, it would catch a whipper. What do you want to test next? Uh, let's see, we got uh, some dog bones that were the cheapest thing. Cheapest quick draws I could find seven years ago. Dirt bag, rack pack, I think. Is that what it was really called? Yeah, they're, <laughs> like literally dirt bag was in the name. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 21? Said 21. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was guessing. Oh. It was 21. What, what, was, what broke? Dog bone. Yeah. 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 Where's the curvy? There we go. These look like slightly different shape than we left it, a little more elongated. Like it's it's, a it's different. Bit. It's different. It's a little bit, not much. So that's almost what this was rated for if it was 22, which it yeah. is. So let's it's pull a, let's pull a carabiner and see if. Yeah, I mean, this has already been good. compromised, so if we get anywhere in the 20s, that's pretty good. Yeah. Free tip, lock your carabiners. There's what a, the parts I could find at least. 25.89 is that carabiner. We want to test next, you want to do this one? Uh, sure, yeah, we gotta do two, right? What do you think it broke at? Uh, it sounded loud. <laughs> is that a number? Oh uh, yeah, super good enough. Yeah, totally. This is a sliding X. You might know this as the easy to shock load answer that is super good enough and we're gonna test it. <laughs> We got a new uh, little jib here, and we're gonna see if uh, the jib works or uh, if these bend first. Yeah. Can, do they unspin still? Hopefully. I don't. <laughs> so this is a chain shackle, yeah. and this is so much better uh, than a bow shackle. And obviously this is smaller, obviously I know that, yeah. but even a bow shackle at this size, it, when it bends just a little, uh, you, it doesn't unspin. And so finding the right connectors to do tests, especially for bolts, was so hard. And we were curious if this was going to obviously not break, wow. steel bends so much, but I'm going to definitely need more of these to do tests like this. So this is a girth hitched master point. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty strong. So I got a big old shackle here, same setup as before. And uh, we're just going to permanently leave those on until they break. That's a lot of reduction. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> this is weaker. Yeah. Does that matter? I mean, it still doesn't really matter to me. It's still <laughs> huge. Now we're gonna test the same thing, but we're gonna gash up one side and cut it and see how it fails. Yeah, it's pulling through. Look at that. 2.82. 2 .82. Whoa, that's kind of low. Uh, that's not a safety ratio you like to see. <laughs> it just happens to be like how it cinches around this. I think this yeah. being a bigger bend radius allows it to slip easier. Yeah. I think if it's more pinched with like a carabiner. So you know how you spend all your time keeping your seams away from the carabiners? We're going to see what happens when you don't. All right. Oh, wow, it flattened that. I mean, oh. it's not good for it. No. Uh, I mean, none of this is good for it. Yep. What did you get? About the same. <laughs> the same? Uh, some people tie knots in a sling to try to shorten them, and that will reduce this about more than 50%. And there's actually a better trick to do that. Obviously, you can always have it, but if you want it not half, is you create an X in it, and then you create a basket inside of this X, and so... Do that and that holds okay and you can adjust it and you pull those strands there and it's creating this basket like you would make a u-shape around a tree with this sling like if i were to go around my arm you're doing what i'm doing around my arm you're doing around that x you created there we go. Oh, 
Holy shit! Oh my oh god, that's a cool result! What? what I've never tested this before! What? Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh, it smells burnt. Well, that was only eight. That's a third Ten. of what it's rated at. Yeah. Ten. It, it oh, wait, did it, it broke it? Down. Yeah, but it was doing this. It was, it, it it was, was doing tearing it at eight. eight. I'm not saying to do it or not do it. I'm just saying that's that's a thing. So cool results go here. That's how we decorate around here. But eight kilonewtons, by the way, is a lot. Yeah, um, not not as uh, theatrical as the last failure. The result was same enough. My uh, black diamond ATC that I daily drove for many years, uh, it fell uh, 400 feet off a cliff at one point and landed on rock. But uh, micro fractures are a myth, right? So uh, I used it for another five years. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting rid of it now then? Uh, the grooves on the teeth have just worn down so much over time that it uh, just doesn't provide as much friction as I'd hope. So. Cool, and you're not in college anymore. No, so. I can afford new toys, <laughs> barely. We have it in ATC guide mode, so this should lock it off. And what size diameter of rope is this? Should say, oh, it says retired on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's because it's retired or the fact that it's pinching on itself? Is that a, is that what they mean by a flat rope? <laughs> Not core shot. It's fine. It's coreless. It started making noises at like, what was it's, it, four? It started making some noises. Yeah, four or five? Yeah, like once, yeah, it was hard, having a hard time staying at five. Yeah. You're not going to be blaying a follower and getting more than five kilonewtons. No. If you are, you're not a good blayer. <laughs> Unless they're... So what's the condition of this? How did that hold up? I don't know. That seems cockeyed, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I was like that before. We're just testing this right now, and I just decided maybe that's the best way to grab this thing. Uh, if I pull from here, it would pull too much on one side, and I want to give this the best fighting chance I can. Uh, sometimes they're like zero, and sometimes they're eight. What's, what's worse? There's a lot of things you're not supposed that's to do in this cool. video. That's what's inside of there. Okay, so let's test the eye where I just put the soft shackle in both and equalize it. So um, that way I know this is bomber. If we had two ropes coming out of this, that would only be five and five kilonewtons before it started to shred. And I think that's going to be stronger. So let's do it. Oh my God. Good oh, thing you have the barrier. Just don't have anybody take a 31 kilonewton whipper. <laughs> to redeem myself, we're going to show that this is just as bad as the knot I did. And I'd love to be sponsored by Tostitos, but I'm not. So please buy your gear from extremegear.org. Whoa, yeah, that's as bad as my knot. Yep. Whoa, it was not good for the, the sling. Imagine <laughs> that. This is a weblock. This is a woodlock, and that has nothing to do with what I'm about to show you. I'm going to drill a hole in this quick draw in commemoration of the idea that you could drill a hole in a carabiner to lighten it. If you do that to lighten your quick draws, you might really enjoy the last video we just put out. Here we go. I can put one more chocolate chip in my granola bar. No way. 16. Okay, they don't usually look like this when they break, but that's because they don't usually have a hole drilled in them. So we got about half of what this was rated for, and look how many holes is in that. And this was more than half. Just one hole. I mean, it was just one hole, just one hole. but like, it's fabric? I don't, I don't know. I just figured one hole would have been worse than that. All right, there's point one. There's point two grand saved. That's how I want all my yeah. gear. Ultra lighters, they'll pay $100 for that. No way! What is the opposite of diminishing returns? There we go. The ultimate quick draw. The ultimate ultralight. The seven-year-old gear wasn't completely compromised and probably would have kept us plenty safe. 
well, till we got a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we tested quad anchors, and you can check that out next.